Chris Scott with the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene, Oregon. Today we're going to show you how to tie a saltwater fly for bonefish and permit called the Christmas Island Special. Only today we're going to use some new material from Hairline. So today for this fly we're going to start with a stainless saltwater hook. This is a TMCO 811S and we're going to start by attaching some thread right behind the eye of the hook. This thread's a new thread from Vivas. This is in a chartreuse color and 6 aught. So I'm going to use that thread here to attach some another new product from Hairline. This is called the Double Pupil Eye. It's a lead eye with double pupils on it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to I want to make sure to leave a lot of room right behind the eye to finish this fly. So I'm going to attach these eyes a little ways back from the eye of the hook. I'll just figure eight thread around the eyes to kind of set them up and give them a, a good foundation, something to stick to. At this point in tying this fly, I would suggest applying some kind of adhesive that'll keep the eyes from moving around on you a lot. Uh, clear Cure Goo product would be good for that. And that, so now after we've got the eyes on there well, I'm going to move back towards the back of the hook shank with the thread. This is where we're going to attach our tail. And once I get to the end of the, of the shank where it starts to bend off, I'm going to attach the tail. Uh, for the tail we're going to use some lime green crystal flash, like so. So I'll just tie that right into the tail. Right, Like I said, right about where the bend begins. Go about a little more than half the length of the of the hook. Then I'll wrap the rest of that down tight to the shank as I come forward. Now the body of this fly is actually another new product. This is from Vivas. Um, this is called Iris. Uh, the color we're using today is a chartreuse. Um, I'm going to wrap the thread to the back here. Actually. I'm going to knot this off and get this out of the way for a second. And I've, I've put this Vivas material on a, on a bobbin as well so I can wrap it kind of fast. So I'll start it over the shank, cut the excess off, come to the back near the tail. Now I can build this body up as I want by coming forward and back over it over and over. And once I get it right to where I think it's about the right thickness, I'll wrap it up to the front and then whip finish it off and, get, and then we can get it out of the way. So just about like that. And then I'll whip finish it off. And then I can start again with my chartreuse thread. So I'll start that again, clip off the excess. At this point I'm going to turn the hook over in the vise because we're going to tie this fly to ride technically upside down, you can see that I've put the lead eyes on the top, which will act like a keel and turn the fly over. So after I've got the body to this point and the hooks inverted in the vise, I'm going to put the, the wing for it, being starting with crystal flash here, tie that down onto the shank right behind the eye. I want to get this a little bit snug up to the lead eyes too. I'll cut it at about the same length as the tail. Now I'm going to add this coyote mask. This is an excellent material. This has got a lot of different um, colors in one piece. Uh, it's really fluffy and breathes really well. It's great for saltwater flies in general. And part of the bonefish, part of the Christmas Silence special is that it's a really sparse fly. So we don't want to put too much wing on. So I'll pull out the under fur, about like that. Now I'll trim the front of it square so it sits down nicely over the hook shank. And then set it in there right behind the eye and tighten it down. There we go. That looks good. Next I'm going to add some micro silicone legs. It's another new product from Hairline. And I want to use the, the section of the legs where 
where it goes from clear to hot orange. And that'll be at the at the back, like so. Hey, I'm gonna take four of them, cut them square, and then set them in right over that last wraps I made for the coyote. There we go. And then I'll just wrap that back so it all comes off the hook in the same spot. There. Then I'll finish by just squaring up the wraps right behind the eye so it looks nice and clean. Uh, like so. There. And then I'll come in with my whip finisher. Tie a finishing knot just like so. And we're done. At this point I would probably also use some kind of adhesive material too to, to really solidify the finishing wraps on this thing so it wouldn't come undone in salt water conditions.